Wheel Rising features many mechanics that, once mastered, can greatly enhance your gaming experience. So today I have prepared a list of 40 advanced tips to help you understand and utilize these mechanics efficiently. This is aiming for gaming, and today we're aiming for advanced gaming. Farm Pristine Heights is a graceful village by weakening villagers during the daytime, waiting for nightfall and eliminating them in their werewolf form for free loot. Utilize bosses and big enemies to gather resources, as they can effortlessly destroy rocks and trees. Take advantage of enemy encounters where they fight each other, providing an advantageous handicap in boss battles. This strategy works particularly well in haunted iron mines and gloomrot. Use bear form to break big resource deposits without the need for explosives. When mounted, you can turn your blood sense on to simplify the search for victims. Be mindful of your WSD inputs while mounting your horse to prevent accidental backward movement. For quick and free health point restoration, enter your coffin and wait a few seconds. You can occupy other players' territories even in PvE, just find a decaying castle and seize it. Grow plants within your base's dedicated planting area to acquire all the resources you need without visiting other locations. Visit newly added traders to obtain items, potions, books and much more. If you're missing gems or materials for upgrade, purchase them from traders. Acquire specific floors from traders instead of relying on random drops. Or you can maximize your profit from unlocking new items with scrolls or paper by purchasing cheap books. If you need gem dust immediately, destroy excess gems in the grinder. The haunted iron mine has become obsolete with the newly added iron cave. Gain access to it using explosives or by transforming into a bear. Golems in the Iron Cave won't attack you when you're in a bear form. Summon the Pewter Dread in the Vermin Nest within your base to unlock Red Form. Use Red Form to open Golden Chests without detection, but be quick, as the opening animation cancels the form. Each use of Blood Extraction increases the misery of your prisoner and the damage from extraction. Lower their misery with specific fish to avoid losing your precious blood source. Blood Merlo is superior to regular blood extraction as it consumes fewer health points and induces less misery. Use the Red and Grill to raise your prisoner's blood quality to 100%. However, it's important to note that there is a 35% probability that your prisoner may undergo a mutation when using this method. By the way, clicking the like button on this video will show me that you enjoyed it. It's very important to me and motivates me to make more videos for you. Use a Rio of effect skills to farm cotton or sunflowers more efficiently. Protect yourself from garlic by drinking garlic resistance brew or potion, simplifying your farming by reducing garlic stacks in the same time period. The same tactic works for silver resistance potions, allowing you to carry more silver. Other players' bases can sometimes be accessed by jumping from higher ground. Unlock human form by defeating Bane the Shadow Blade, enabling you to visit cities and new traders without being attacked. When fighting bosses in a group, the number of spawned enemies and spells in boss fights increases, along with their overall power. Relic weapons offer significant stat boosts and effects such as chill or shock on skill usage. Bags are essential for expanding your storage system, allowing you to store multiple resources without taking up inventory space. Coin purses protect you from the negative effects of silver and can hold multiple stacks of coins. Equip multiple bags of the same type for added storage convenience. You can mine iron with any merciless copper weapon, an upgraded version of regular copper weapons. Maces only provide an extra 25% damage to rocks and veins. Change your blood type to worker for more efficient resource mining. It increases damage to nodes, resource yield and even offers a chance to instantly destroy nodes. Utilize the new teleporters to swiftly move between different areas within your claimed zone. Make use of the Blood Moon, which boosts your blood quality and movement speed, making boss battles easier. Check your server settings to confirm the difficulty level. Some servers increase boss stats to create a more challenging and souls-like experience. Skeletons serve as powerful distractions in fights, absorbing attacks while you shoot enemies from a distance. Use your blood drain power to swiftly eliminate enemies without waiting for the drain to complete. Bear form boasts superior health regeneration values, allowing you to save your items or blood. Wisps give you temporary protection against cursed forest sickness. Alternatively, defeat the wanderer and craft the shroud of the forest for full protection. Destroy needed jewels to obtain gems and gem dust. I hope with this guide you have achieved what we are aiming for today. For more guides, simply visit my channel and consider subscribing, it's that easy. Thank you all for watching and see you next time!